Drake yet. <laughs> oh my goodness. Where you please? <laughs> it looks so good. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are a new subscriber, my name is Alyssa Ashley. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. <laughs> when I tell you guys I have not said that sequence, well I've said it, but you guys get to hear it because you know I've filmed quite a few of these and then I just scrapped them, but man, it feels so good to be uploading again. Honestly, at one point in time, I didn't think that I would make it happen because when I tell you guys the nerves that I have just posting, it's frightening. I feel like a new YouTuber. I feel like this is my first upload because it's been so long. Nine months was the longest time I've taken away from my platform ever. And it's so surreal. And I do want to take a moment to even just thank you guys for getting me to where I've been able to get to in life because being able to take that sort of break is a privilege in itself. And I'll forever be grateful for that because I really did just need some time away. But I'm back and I do want to talk to you guys a bit. You guys just enjoyed my little intro. I just, I don't know, I felt like I couldn't just come on here and just say, hey, I want to give you guys a little something just to show you what the last nine months have looked like and I'm going to talk about it while I do my makeup. Yes, I'm doing my makeup today. <laughs> this entire time, from being real, I've been trying to figure out what my first upload back will be because I've dabbled into makeup. That's why most of you guys are here because of my makeup tutorials and hooded eye videos. I start to do a little bit of photography and then I got into fitness and my last video is a fitness based video and health. And I felt why not just take it back home and take it back to what even got me here to begin with. And let's do our glam. Is it gonna be basic? Yes. Yes, 100%, but it's gonna be beautiful and I wanna deal with you guys. So if you guys are ready to watch that and talk to me a bit, then just keep on watching and I hope you guys enjoy it. It feels so fun saying that again. Before I even get started with picking anything up, I just want to take a moment to even just lightly get into a summarized version of why I've been gone. To summarize it, I felt extremely disconnected from everything. You know, I've been doing YouTube since 2016 and I obviously experienced a burnout, but also I felt like I was losing passion in every aspect of my life and every area of my life. So obviously I lost passion for makeup, which drove me closer to my love for photography. And with my makeup backing, I was able to fund my photography passion for the first time ever. And it was really exciting to be able to create the camera collection that I have today, which I never imagined even having. And then I decided to tap out of that because in the midst of doing all these hobbies, I wasn't really taking care of me or my physical health in a way that I just, it sucked. I start to see it, I start to feel it. So then that's what brought me to working out. And then next thing you know, I fell in love with fitness. It became addicting. And I did not know what I wanted to do anymore. So anytime I would even think about doing content, I'm like, okay, what do I want that content to look like how do I want to feel so I just disconnected and honestly the last nine months as seen in my little preview I've been in the gym and also I have been going out and not to say that going out isn't enjoyable but some of it is 
pretty empty in nature and that it's not very fulfilling, but it was my way of just kind of escaping from my responsibilities and just tuning out of everything. I'm like, okay, is there a party? Let's go to the party. You know, I'll drink a bit and everything just to zone out because I just did not want to be present because the reality of my present was that I was not happy with it and I did not know what I want to do or what I was passionate about anymore. And I'm a person that thrives on passion. So feeling a lack of passion in every area, it brought me to such a lame, I'm gonna say lame, I was gonna say low, a lame place in life where I just was just aimless. So I just want to get that out because sometimes it's hard to talk and do my makeup, but let's do some glam. I'm taking the Danessa Myricks. This is the Yummy Skin Glow Serum. It's an amazing product. I was either gonna do this or the Natasha Denona Glass Skin Serum, but I'm gonna do this for today. Yeah, it brought me to a place where I was just not feeling anything. I would wake up, I would go to the gym. If I'm being honest with you guys, sometimes I'll be in the gym for three hours just because I didn't wanna go home because I would go home and I would have ideas in my head and then I just wanna execute them. So every single day was going the same. Wake up, go to the gym and just kind of be aimless. And it just felt like a really empty life if I'm being honest with you guys. So I'm happy to be back because I feel like I want to feel something again. But also I do think it took for me to feel nothing to have the urgency to feel something to then apply myself again, if that makes any sense. Let's apply the yummy skin. I'm gonna take this e.l.f. concealer. This is the Camo concealer and this is in the shade Deep Caramel. I've been using this in place of my foundation. I don't know if you guys remember my Target video. I did this in that video and I'm still doing it because it's just the bomb. Did I just say it's the bomb? I sound like my mom. But yeah, I just, it's been an interesting time. And then when you step away from something for long enough, like for example, I've been doing my handstands, right? When I first started, I sucked at it. But the more and more I practice, I've been able to get 20 second holds. If I were to stop doing handstands for like a month, even two months, I'd probably lose that muscle memory and I would have to start kind of from scratch and I would lose confidence in my ability to be inverted and I would be scared all over again. When I first started, I was doing it against the wall because I was scared to fall. So if I were to just stop, I'd probably have that same fear in the back of my head. And that's how I felt about getting back on YouTube because I lost that flow of things to where I'm like, okay, I don't feel confident in posting anymore. So each month that would go by that I was not posting, I was in my head about it and getting scared. What if no one wants to watch anymore? What if they don't care anymore? What if they don't like the video you put out? You start to think all of these things and, or at least that's what I was thinking. And you just tap out and you decide, you know what? I don't want to do it. And that is what the year looked like for me because I said, okay, I'm going to do this video in March. Then March passed, April, May, June, July, August, and now we're at the end of September and I've posted nothing. And we're almost at the end of the year. We have three more months left, which is insane to me. Even setting up my freaking setup was a challenge. It took me an hour to figure out how to put together this microphone. Like what? And then also once I sat down to even edit this, I discovered that 44 minutes of footage did not get saved to my memory card. So I actually had to go and refilm everything all over again. Fun fact. And you know, tech is my thing. And I completely forgot. I need a mirror because I'm looking at my monitor, but I need to make sure I'm blended. I cannot come back and be not blended. <laughs> and this is Sephora number 56 Pro Foundation Brush. Another reason why it was challenging to come back was because I didn't know what the heck to post. And for me, it's like, I mean, I don't have Twitter anymore, but when I did have Twitter, yeah, if you do have Twitter, you saw kind of just what transpired with someone tweeting that one of the beauty girls is trying to pivot to fitness. It was funny. And then that kind of sparked a whole debate. And if I'm being honest with you guys, while I appreciated people admiring my pivot, it was still very, very overwhelming because it kind of made me want to crawl into a hole. Like, okay, I can't even pivot in, 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 in peace. You know, like you feel like this, man, there were so many people weighing in, there was podcasts and it was just like, I don't know, at a, my entire time of being on this platform, I've never experienced anything like that where I had so many people weighing in on the situation. I've had scandals, but like that, it was it was a lot. And it felt like, dang, like I can't just work out and post it and be excited. And while again, people admired it and said, you know, it makes them feel less afraid to pivot, pivoting to another area is a very, very scary thing to do because you don't know if you're gonna upset your original audience. You don't know if that pivot is going to be successful. 
is so unpredictable. But one thing I do want to say is that if you are passionate about something, do not let anyone get in your head about it. Now go about it in a smart way. You know what I mean? So for me, I already had the platform that I built with makeup. So it was a little bit easier for me because I already had that foundation and that cushion knowing that, okay, if I can just show these people, hey, I'm passionate about it, a lot of people will convert to be interested in it. And that's what happened where a lot of people even today tell me like, okay, I started watching you with makeup and now I'm doing workouts because of you. So I was able to do that very seamlessly, but it was scary. But if you are passionate about something, I truly believe that you will be fine. And that's just the way that I move. That's why I decided to dive into photography and that was going pretty successful. I do let fear talk me out of some things, but if I'm passionate and if I'm just driven by it, I just go for it. Because the worst I could do is fail and failure sucks, but if I don't do it and listen to those feelings that I have in here, I'll never know. So I was really, did they give me the wrong shade? No, okay, that's the right one. <laughs> I haven't used Fenty concealer in so long. I'm taking Fenty concealer in shade 350. I lost what I thought. <laughs> it looked a lot lighter in the freaking thing, but um, did that whole entire highlighter just fall out? Okay, you know, welcome back. Let's, let's grab another mirror after that didn't just happen to me and ruin new chair, okay? Anyways, pivoting was scary. And then you run into this dilemma where your original people want that original content they signed up for, but you're just like, you don't know what to do. And that's kind of what I experienced where I don't dislike makeup. That's why I'm doing it right now. Now, did I fall out of love with it? Because I just feel like the overall climate in the beauty industry, it just changed so drastically from when I first joined it that it wasn't very fun anymore. It was very negative and, and draining. So I'm like, okay, I don't want to be in this little industry. But I think that with the surge of TikTok, it's definitely changed a bit to where it feels like it's returning back to makeup and not so much drama. There is drama on makeup TikTok, but you guys know, if you were there, you were there. It was just not a fun space to be. You felt like you had to do certain titles to get certain views. It definitely became an environment that was not enjoyable to be in. And also, it's hard to be passionate about makeup and everything when you're not really feeling right in here and you're not feeling the best physically. And that's why I turned to working out and I just tapped the hell out of everything and just wanted to go to the gym. <laughs> Sealer is on. Okay, for bronzer, I'm gonna take this cream bronzer from Rose Ink. And this is actually more of a contour shade because it's cool tone. And I'm taking this little elf brush that I really like. And I'm just gonna buff it in a little bit. See how it has that kind of like that more cooler tone? I like that because I feel like it's a more natural and realistic sort of bronze. I have bronzes that are more warm, which those are bomb for the summertime. But for right now, I wanna just look snatched. And this one's really good. And this one isn't super uh, emollient. It, it kind of dries down matte, and I just feel like it works really well with the rest of my makeup. This is so good. Mm. All right. Okay, I'm kind of just hoping for the best here because I really cannot see from that monitor, but it looks good from afar. I need to check the mirror, but I'm kind of scared of any mirror after my highlight broke. Okay, we are blended. This is good. <laughs> what do I want to do for blush? For blush, I'm gonna take this Rare Beauty blush and this in the shade Joy. Just to give you guys a little bit of clarity, I do plan on posting makeup videos again. I never intended to just transition my channel over to fitness and everything. If I'm being quite honest with you guys, I just had a lot of negative emotions attached to some of my previous content uh, because certain comments would trigger me. Uh, people telling me that I had to do one thing and me wanting to prove them wrong so then it led me to private everything. It just made me want to be like, you know what, forget this, I'm gonna do what I want to do. When people are telling me one thing, I'm like, no, I'm gonna prove them wrong. So I do plan on posting makeup again. I definitely have found myself visiting Sephora more often. I definitely stopped at one point in time, but I find myself swatching again and really enjoying it so I can tell that I, my love for makeup never left, it just kind of dissipated for a little bit, but I do still plan on giving my OG subscribers that content because I enjoy it and I know you guys enjoy it as well. Let me blend this. I forgot to put this rare on it. You know, rare dress down. <laughs> do not play with the rare. Oh my goodness. I wonder if anyone was looking at the screen like, blend it, blend it, blend it. Cause you guys know that it sets really fast. Now we're gonna take my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Something just never changed. This powder is the bomb, man. 
I don't know when a company is gonna release a powder that can top this, in my opinion. Like, nothing that I've used has compared to this at all, in years. I mean, man, like, I've definitely switched over temporarily, but I always circle back to Miss Laura Mercier. And this is a Sephora 99 blush brush. I need a mirror for this. Go ahead and set it up. Switching over to a fluffier brush just to kind of finish her off. Okay, I'm feeling confident because at first I thought I was gonna really bomb this, but this is looking really good, so period. And then also once I sat down to even edit this, I discovered that 44 minutes of footage did not get saved to my memory card, so I actually had to go and refilm everything all over again. Fun fact. I already posted the look on my TikTok because I wanted to see if people thought that it looked pretty because I felt pretty. And everyone's like, oh my goodness, yes. So now I feel like I have to make sure that I do the same look. So, <laughs> talk about an obstacle. That, man, I'm telling you guys, I'm so happy that mentally I'm feeling better because if this was maybe a month ago, I would have taken that as a sign from the universe that, oh, it's not my time, I'm not gonna post. However, I'm just viewing it as, you know what, it's a small obstacle and everything's all good. So let's try to, let's just, let's just act like it didn't happen, okay? <laughs> okay, so for brows, I'm taking Benefit Precise in my brow pencil. You know, in my original clip, I kind of complained because I made them too thick, but they kind of like looked good. <gasps> now my, this is the last of my brow pencil. I gotta make a stretch. Mm -hmm. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Oh my God, my life is a joke. Okay, I gotta make this brow pencil stretch because it's on its last. <laughs> First I lose 45 minutes of footage, and then this. Oh, please, just, just give me a break. Okay, okay. Give me a moment, guys. I'm trying my best here. It's almost gone, but I'm getting the I'm getting the brows. You know, it's happening. <sighs> Thank you. And then we're gonna take this NYX brow pen for dimension. Mm. And then, oh, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna take the Refi brow pomade again. <sighs> I did it as I should. Okay, so the brows look good. They look the same as before, which is what I wanted. Honestly, this whole ordeal is rather overwhelming, so I think I'm gonna get a snack. Okay, so my snack of choice is this Nowhere Bakery. It's called the Chalk Chip. When I tell you guys, this is vegan. It says plant-based, no gluten, handmade, no refined sugar, no dairy, no soy, paleo. When I tell you guys, this cookie is so good, it's insane. While we're on the topic of cookies, I guess we can recap where I'm at with my fitness journey because the last time I posted, I honestly can't remember what goals I told you guys, but I feel like they definitely changed quite a lot. Let me get my eyeshadow out. This is the Nude Prism by Lunar Beauty. And I'm gonna take teas. I'm gonna try to remember what I did when I freaking did the first time. Taking teas and let's, let's go ahead and just get to blending, okay? So in regards to my fitness journey, currently, I feel like I'm at a place where I'm just enjoying it and there's no pressure or there's no um, feeling to hit a certain goal. So obviously in the beginning I had a weight goal and then you get other goals, but lately I just feel like I just go in there, I just do my best and the rest will follow and I pay more attention to just like how I'm feeling physically. So. I kind of stopped being on top of my protein goals and everything, and I just enjoy it. I could tell that lately I've been eating so much junk and my body feels the difference because I'm so in tune now. So I can tell when my stomach is irritated, I can tell when I'm feeling better and more energized, and I definitely have been cutting up a little bit. But it's because I'm just vibing, and I need to kind of hone or reel it in a little bit because I don't want to venture too far off because I do care a lot about how I feel on the inside. So much of this has become my inside feelings versus what I look like on the outside. Like, you know, eventually one day I do want to have a fourth pack. That will be awesome just to be able to achieve, but I'm not so body conscious anymore and I don't have this obsession with 
my 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 weight and my body. So I just be vibing out, but at the same time, I can tell internally when the vibe is getting too vibey and I need to calm down because I be getting sugar high. <laughs> like I'm like, ee! and I'm like, okay, it's not a fun feeling. Taking an edge of something, I'm gonna set it against my eye. Very old school. I'm taking classic in that palette and I'm allowing it to come just flow in that general area. Same to that side. But yeah, we're, we're gonna get back into the, our fitness um, seriousness because I'm just been chilling and I still want my Angela Bassett arms. I'm gonna get those arms. I'm gonna get those arms. I feel pretty happy with everything, but I want some Angela Bassett arms. By that, I mean like, if I think it, it will become, I really do believe that. No, I saw this TikTok and this girl said that like, what you, think mentally can really manifest itself to be real. So if you're thinking to yourself, like for example, the last nine months, I'm thinking, I'm trash. No one wants to see me on there. I suck, all my video ideas suck, blah, blah. And I'm, if I'm thinking myself into that negative space, I'm going to stay into that negative space. And it took for me to stop thinking that to get out of it. The same could be applied to positive. And obviously you do have to put your best foot forward to make some of those actions happen. But I do think that our mental it's a lot more powerful than people give it credit for. And it does, uh, it's a driving force in, in many things. It could be in a negative direction or positive, depends on how you take it or how you are thinking, you know? And I notice that whenever I'm thinking negative, man, things just kind of start flipping and I'm like, okay, all righty. That's enough slices. <laughs> kind of just allowed that to flow a little bit. And then I took some apricot in the palette because it has like that warmth to it. And I just blended it like that. Some other random life updates. I got a new car. It's really nice and I'm, I'm really happy about it. So that's a little update. I moved again. Now I'm gonna take the Fenty concealer and put that on the lid. Oh gosh, I can't look up. And just kind of blend it out. And then in the palette, there's a shadow called I'm Shy and I'm just gonna pack that on top. Okay, it's starting to look like the way that I left off. All right, I'm liking it. Taking a little bit of classic just to kind of seal off that kind of blend right there. And I also want to take a little bit of classic and put it underneath too. And then taking a little bit of that moody shade that we put on the corner and put it on the outer corner. So I've already mentioned that I definitely will be posting makeup content again. Will I be posting fitness and health? Yes, because I'm still very much into it. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm addicted to doing handstands and many people have asked me to give them some tips on how I've been getting better at them. I plan on posting that. I plan on posting more fitness stuff. I honestly plan on just posting whatever makes me happy. And at the moment, multiple things make me happy. So I'm gonna be posting multiple different topics and I do not have a set in stone way that I'm going to go about it, but I know that I'm just gonna do it because I'm either doing it or I'm not doing it. And once this video goes live, there's no stopping. Like I'm not gonna just be like, okay, I have to give up for a few more months, no. We're just gonna do it. So hopefully you guys can work with me on the flow in which things are going to release because it's probably gonna be very random, but I'm gonna be present and I'm gonna just simply showcase what I'm interested in and hopefully you guys take an interest to it as well. Or you guys just simply watch because you like me. <laughs> and I'm gonna take this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and this is frosting. And I'll put it in here. Oh. I hate the face I do. I do this green face when I do that. Put a little bit in the flappy fold. Stepping away from the eyes, I'm gonna add a little bit more blush. This is from RMS Beauty. This is in the shade Sangria. It's really pretty. And we're just gonna kinda fluff that on top. I'm gonna add a little bit of dimension to my nose using the Fenty Sunstalker Bronzer. I also plan on getting back to photography as well because it's definitely something that brought me a lot of joy. This product was the one that was released when I got flown out to London to meet Rihanna. And honestly, I really do think that if I were to step back into my photographer bag, 
I, I don't know why, but I would just love the moment to photograph her. I really do. I want to photograph a lot of people, but I just feel like I'd be able to capture her really, really well. So if that ever happens, you guys have this video to come back to and be like, oh, you said that you want to do that in this video. So this is just for the record, okay? For your records. <laughs> because man, I mean, I've even visualized it before. You know, you ever know when you just kind of see something in your head and exactly how you would do it? I've done that before. With quite a few people, I just mentioned her because that bronzer, it just reminded me, but there's definitely a lot more for me in the photography space and I feel that because I just, I'm really, really good at it. And I, I when I step into that space, the way that my mind just comes up with things, it's something that even impresses me <laughs> because I feel like I'm such a natural at it. Like some things, take me more time to get it. Whereas with that, when I pick up that camera, I just feel connected instantly. And I just think that there's just so much more that I'm gonna do in that space once I get back to it and once I get back to my flow of things. So yeah, hype myself up, be positive about my future. Yes, it's so important to speak positive over yourself. That's something that I wish that I definitely took that advice over the last nine months, but sometimes I'm better at giving advice than actively taking it. And I think it's because in the moments where I'm not taking it, I'm realizing what I should be doing. And it's so important to speak positive over yourself because there's so much negative in the world. There's so many people that are negative towards other people. So you, you almost gotta turn to your biggest cheerleader and be positive for you and really hype yourself the hell up. Some might call it arrogant. Some might say, oh, you know, get over yourself. Don't. Let's go ahead and brighten up the under eye. <laughs> this is from Senna Beauty. This is the HD lift, just to add a little bit of brightness. Gonna use this YSL spray, it's like a dewy mist. This is from NYX, it's a brown one. Is it the best? No, but it's gonna work for today. I personally like my Charlotte Tilbury, but I can't find it. We're gonna take this Bobbi Brown corrector stick. This is deep peach, just to add a little bit of highlight to the uh, center of the lip. Mmm, see how I made my lips look bigger? And then we're gonna take the Dior Lip Glow Oil in the shade Rosewood. And then we're gonna hit the eyes with some mascara. So here we have the finished look, and while it is annoying that to do it twice, I'm just happy that I was able to do it and execute it a second time, and it looks just as flawless. And also, I didn't let that obstacle get in the way, because honestly, I'm just so ready to get back to my channel, and nothing is going to stop that. Now, for my channel, because I'm sure you guys wanna know, what kind of content are you gonna see here? And to be completely transparent, we're gonna find out together because there's so many different things that I'm interested in. There's so much that I wanna do. There's so much that I wanna post. So many new hobbies that I wanna try out. So many things I wanna try. And I am just going to share it with you guys because I'd rather be sharing it than not. I'd rather be posting it than being ducked away for nine months and you guys wondering, okay, where is this person that we subscribe to? Now, obviously I already mentioned that makeup will be present on my channel again. I wanna also introduce more of my photography. I wanna introduce more of my fitness and health. I wanna introduce just me. I just want to be here. Overall, the goal is to just be present, whether I'm feeling down, whether I'm feeling super happy, just through all of the fluctuations and obstacles and just everything, I don't wanna do it alone. And I also don't wanna abandon the audience that I worked so hard to get. And also, I don't want you guys to feel abandoned because ultimately you subscribe for a reason and I wanna make sure that you stay here and you're happy being here and you're getting what you subscribe for. So that is it to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and welcome back. I am super duper grateful for those who are still here. Unfortunately, I did lose some subscribers and maybe one of these days they'll type in my name and realize that I'm posting again and maybe they'll like what they see. But for those who are still here, I'm so, so grateful and appreciative of your patience. I'm really, really happy to be back and I hope that you guys are happy as well. And I'll see you guys in my next upload. I don't wanna say peace out anymore. Can I change it up a bit? I kept the intro to the same. I'll see you guys soon. <laughs>